The Image Bond 800 comes equipped with multiple exposure modes for fluorescent imaging. In this session, we're going to look at fluorescent imaging, how we're going to set that up. We have three different exposure modes. One is auto, so we'll use this when we want to avoid saturating our image. Manual, we can go to manual when we have the time known that we want to use for the exposure. We also have our new operating method here called Snow. So it's going to allow us to extend the dynamic range by minimizing the noise in the system. And again, it's going to avoid saturation and is really truly automated way of working with the system. If we look over here under basic settings, we can select different dyes we're going to work with. So it might be that you're working with more than one. So in this case here, let's say we want to work with uh, maybe Psi 2. We can add another dye here. This could be Psi 3. And then maybe we want to work with, um, with an infrared one. So we can pick an infrared dye into the system here. And actually picked one for a thidium bromide there. So actually we're going to change that to go into the green here. We can add a time over here. So we're in a manual mode, so we know which times we need to use here. In this case, we worked out it was 10 seconds. We have the option to add a colorimetric marker here. In this case, we have a fluorescent marker on our blot, so we don't need to work, worry about that. If we go to advanced settings, then we can see here that we can adjust this using this slider. Recommendation is the default, but it might be that you want to have a, a quicker exposure or a higher resolution, so you can play off with the, with the bidding modes here. We can also change our capture area using this tool here. If we have a smaller block on the target area, then we can change this appropriately using these tools here. And then when we're ready to perform our imaging, we're going to press the start button here to capture.